morning everyone this is dr jvr shashiro professor in the department of mechanical engineering institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad so we are uh, discussing about uh, engineering tribology subject in this subject already in the previous sessions we have studied about uh, friction wear and lubrication and corrosion so in corrosion uh, types of uh, corrosion and then uh, mechanism of corrosion and how to prevent corrosion we, we have learned in uh, previous sessions so today in this uh, in this session so i will discuss about uh, surface coatings so this co these coatings also used to um, avoid the corrosion so how many types of uh, this surface coatings are there so what are the methods are involved in this surface coatings uh, what is the process we will uh, see in today's uh, topic so mainly uh, this session covers surface coating introduction and then uh, hot dipping process and metal cladding cementation and then electroplating electroless plating so these are the Uh, the main uh, surface coatings uh, methods uh, we will discuss in this uh, session so first of all we should know about this uh, surface coatings introduction part and then uh, we will enter into these uh, the process methods so we will explain what they are the surface coatings are used to protect the metal from corrosion already you know so some some layer of uh, metal material or coating uh, it prevents the corrosion the surface coating acts as a physical barrier between the coated metal surface and the environment so whenever the object the metal exposed uh, to the environment conditions so there will be a corrosion so to avoid this uh, corrosion you should paint or you should apply uh, some coating on the metal the particular metal surface there are also used for decorative purpose these coatings also uh, sometimes used for decorative purpose so the mainly the coatings used to protect the metals from the corrosion so metallic coatings the surface coatings made up of uh, uh, noble metals are known as metallic coatings the metallic coatings are mostly applied on steel and iron surfaces because they are cheap commonly used construction materials the the metallic uh, uh, coatings means the uh, which coatings are made up of noble metals those coatings are called as metallic coatings these type of coatings applied on mainly uh, steel and iron surfaces so methods of uh, application of metallic uh, coatings the metallic coatings are done by the following methods one is hot dipping metal cladding cementation electroplating electroless plating the all these methods are called as metallic coating so what is this uh, hot dipping what is the process of uh, metal cladding what do you mean by cementation so what is the process involved in this electroplating and electroless plating we will see the hot dipping the mainly the hot dipping process is applicable to the metals having higher melting point than the coating metal this process is applicable which metal having high, uh, higher melting point than the coating metal so it consists of immersing well cleaned base metal in a bath containing molten coating metal and a flux layer which which coating you want to apply those metal in a bath containing in a liquid state 
The flux cleans the surface of the base metal and prevents the oxidation of the molten coating metal. So the coating of the molten coating metals, examples zinc, SN, PB, AL on iron and steel surfaces. Most widely used hot dipping process are again classified into one is galvanizing and tinning. So which metal you want to apply on a base metal to avoid the corrosion? Those metals are called as coating metals. Suppose if you are used zinc as a coating metal, the process is galvanizing. You are using tin, so that is tinning. So I will show you the process. So the galvanizing is a process in which the iron artic uh, article is protected from corrosion by coating it with a thin layer of zinc. So what is the temperature? This the te temperature range is of 60 to 90 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes. The first iron steel is cleaned by pickling with the dilute H2SO4. So that temperature is 60 to 90 degrees centigrade. But that galvanizing uh, uh, temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. The process uh, you should end, uh, the process uh, applied at uh, this 40 degrees centigrade. The first iron steel is cleaned by pickling with the dilute H2SO4. Therefore, it removes scale, rust, and other impurities present. So, whatever present uh, um, rust material or other foreign material on the surface, first you should remove. So then after dipped molten zinc in a bath at 425 to 480 degrees centigrade. To prevent it from oxide formation, the surface of a bath is covered with a flux and is forced here. When the iron piece is taken out, it is coated with a thin layer of zinc and to remove excess zinc, it is passed through a pair of hot roller. Whenever dipped in the molten state of zinc, the somewhat metal uh, coated uh, on the blaze metal with a thin layer of zinc and to remove excess zinc, uh, passed through a pair of hot rollers, then uh, uh, somewhat uh, the excess material will be removed and finally it is uh, annealed at a temperature and at a temperature of 4 degrees centigrade and then cooled slowly. So finally, the coated um, surface metal will be obtained. So this is the process, so galvanizing process diagram. So diluted for, for dilution purpose, uh, diluted HDSO4 and for cleaning purpose, used 62 Use it at 60 degrees to 90 degrees centigrade. The iron steel passes through this uh, bath and then again uh, goes to this uh, washing bay, washing bath, water, and then uh, somewhat material or uh, rust will be cleared. And then uh, a drying chamber and then uh, ammonium chloride flux, the molten zinc at 425 to 450 degrees centigrade, dipped into this bath. And finally, the, the, the surface, the base metal coated with the zinc and then the galvanized sheet, the pair of water roller passes through this roller and finally obtained this uh, sheet. So this is the process of galvanizing. In 3D diagram shown here, here uh, degreasing, uh, alkaline degreasing, paint and uh, oil removed here and then uh, water rinsing and uh, pickling and uh, flux of solution, uh, drain, zinc bath, which uh, which metal, which coating um, how to apply, that, uh, that is the zinc bath metal near uh, cooling and uh, inspection. The finally, the galvanizing process will be completed with the help of uh, this uh, cooling and uh, inspection, the quench and uh, the passive. So here, Due to a uh, drying process, it reduces the splash and uh, increases dip speed. Due to 
this uh, hot air passes. So, uses it is used to protect roofing sheets, pipes, wire screws, etc. What are the disadvantages of this uh, galvanizing process? Zinc is toxic material. So, thus the galvanized uh, utensils cannot be used for uh, preparing and storing food. So, this is uh, applicable for industry purpose only and uh, the drying and then uh, some uh, galvanized, some uh, uh, roofing uh, sheets. For those applications only, this process is uh, useful. So, do not use these uh, galvanizing utensils uh, for uh, preparing the storing food. Why? Because this zinc is toxic. Because zinc dissolved in dilute acids to form highly toxic compounds. These are the disadvantages of this uh, galvanizing process. So, some uh, diagram shown here, some machine elements. These are the mechanical uh, machine elements here, screws. Uh, and the knot and the studs and the bolts and knots also shown here. So, all these uh, elements are coated with uh, zinc only to avoid uh, rust. This process is called a galvanizing. Next, a tinning process. The process of coating of tin over the iron or steel articles to protect it from corrosion is known as tinning. Instead of zinc, we are uh, using the material, coating material is uh, tin. So, that this process is called is a tinning. The tin is a nobler metal than uh, iron. Therefore, it is more resistant to chemical attack. So, tin is uh, having uh, more resistance property to chemical attack. In this process, at first iron sheet is treated in dilute H2SO4 pickling and to remove any oxide film is present same as in a galvanizing process. A clean iron sheet is passed through a bath uh, molten flux like a zinc chloride, then through molten tin and finally through a suitable vegetable oil. So, finally, it is passed between rolls to adjust the thickness of the tin layer. You can adjust uh, by uh, using this uh, roll size, which may be about 0 0.002 mm thick. The tinning of mild steel plates is done mostly for the requirements of the foodstuff industry. So, mainly the steel plates are done mostly for the requirements of the foodstuff industry. The tinning process shown here are a pair of rollers and then a molten tin bath shown in this diagram and then the material tin plated sheet passes through this roller and again uh, dip it into this molten tin and uh, pass it through rollers and finally obtain after pickling. So, first initially sorry initially pickling process and then goes to this bath and finally obtain the tin plated uh, sheet. So, the direction is shown is like this. Advantages are tin coated uh, utensils are used for uh, storing food as tin is uh, non toxic. But in the previous case, the galvanizing process, the zinc is toxic material, but uh, tin is uh, uh, non uh, toxic. So, that you can use it for storing food purpose. Okay, preparing the stores utensils also you can uh, uh, use. Here, the tin has less disadvantages, is less negative. Value E value than uh, uh, this uh, ferrous, thus it act as a cathode. So, L2 uh, force that uh, value is uh, uh, negative value. Even small crack or uh, puncture of coating can lead to intense corrosion. This is the main uh, uh, disadvantage. So, having this uh, E it is for 0 value is 0 point minus 0 0.44 volts. So, next process is uh, after a hot dipping. In hot dipping, two processes are there. One is galvanizing and tinning. The second one is metal cladding. The process of 
the sand whiching a metal between two corrosion resistant metals is called metal cladding. The metal cladding means the sand whiching between the two corrosion resistant materials. The base metal is placed in between two sheets of the coating metal and then passed through rollers under the action of heat and pressure. With the help of heat and pressure, this uh, coating metal passes through rollers. So, here a uh, carrot uh, sheet shown and two rollers are there. One is base material, aluminum and uh, duralumin and aluminum. These two are uh, two corrosion resistant material metals only. So, the base metal is the sand which are cladded between the two sheets of the coating metals. The sand which is then passed through the two heavy rollers maintained at a high temperature and pressure. This process is called metal cladding. Uses are aluminum clad. A plate of dual aluminum is sandwiched in between two layers of fuel aluminum to improve its strength and corrosion resistance. It is used in aircraft industry. So, wherever required the sandwich uh, sheet. So, that is a laminated sheet. So, there uh, this process is uh, very useful, the aluminum cladding. Next, uh, copper clad. It is used in electrical industry because it has a high strength and good electrical conductivity. The electrical conductivity value also very good. The cementation. Next, third process cementation. The diffusion of coating metal into the base metal resulting in formation of layers of uh, alloys of different uh, composition. The base metal is heated with the powder of coating metal. The coating metal diffuses into the base metal. So, the main uh, the cementation means the metal, the, the diffusion of coating metal into the base metal is a formation of layers uh, of alloys of different uh, composition. Here, see the shieldizing, the coating metal is zinc, and the chromizing, when coating metal is chromium, when coating metal is aluminium, calorizing. So, these are the um, process of uh, the cementation. The base metal is heated with the powder of coating metal. The coating metal diffuses onto the base metal. Whenever heated this uh, with the powder of coating metal, that uh, coating metal diffuses into onto the base metal surface. Advantages is coatings obtained at, uh, are uniform in thickness. Steel obtained after uh, shade aging is used as knots, bolts, etc. Chromized. The chromized steel is used to protect the gas turbine blades. The gas turbine blades, uh, uh, chromized steel is used. Calorized steel is used for making furnace parts. Next process is electroplating. So, shown here uh, diagram the electroplating process. It is the process in which the coating metal is uh, deposited on base metal by passing direct current through an electrolyte solution. Here used the electrolyte solution and one is the uh, object which uh, material, which metal you are going to be uh, electroplating. So, example taken here key, it act as a cathode, the impure copper is act as a anode. So, the, the coating metal is deposited on base metal by passing direct current through an electrolyte solution containing soluble salt of coating metal. Clear? So, here uh, the, the coating metal obtained on this, uh, on this uh, surface. This, uh, this process is called as electroplating. Passes through the uh, material from the anode to your uh, cathode. In this process, following our use, an anode is a coating metal, the cathode is a base metal, metal to be protected, which metal you want to protect, uh, that is uh, act as a cathode. Electrolyte is soluble salt or coating metal, Sol soluble salt or coating metal. Additives, you can add a glue, glycine and there are added to electrolyte solution to get strong and smooth deposit. So, here uh, brightening agents improve brightness of the deposits on passing direct current coating metal ions from the ultralight solution 
uh, get deposited on the base metal. You can add uh, additives and then brightening agents also you can add for improve the brightness of the deposits. So the ultraplating of uh, copper for our metal object. I have shown the construction details. Pure copper plate, cathode is base metal. The cathode is article to be coated. Cathode is uh, base metal, the metal to be protected. And ultralight is uh, copper sulfate solution, the CuSO SO4 solution. So ultraplate, uh, uh, yeah, corrosion control. Ultraplating or uh, ultra position corrosion control shown in this diagram. The copper uh, coating metal act as a anode. Graphite are uh, so shown in this diagram. Soluble salt of coating metal that is uh, ultralight. So the ultraplating of copper over metal object. To be plated is first treated with uh, dilute HCl, hydrochloride or uh, diluted H2SO4. The cleaned object is then made cathode of an ultralight cell and a pure copper plate as anode. The CO copper uh, sulphate solution is taken as ultralight. Whenever the current is passed from the battery through the solution copper dissolves in the ultralight and then deposits uniformly on the metal object. Slowly, here uh, uh, whenever current passes through this uh, battery, the battery through the solution, the copper dissolves in the ultralight, and uh, this copper uh, dissolves in the ultralight and uh, slowly uh, coated the metal. Here uh, deposits uniformly on the metal object. So chemical reactions at anode. What are the reactions? Uh, obtained at anode shown in this uh, equation and then the air cathode also the copper deposit on base metal. The applications of electroplating uh, objects are shown here. This process is widely used in automobiles, aircrafts, etc. and plating for uh, decoration. This process is also used for in refrigerators, jewelry, radios, cameras, typewriters, umbrellas, watches, etc. So all these items quoted here. Uh, with the help of this ultraplating uh, process, the plating on non metallic uh, materials, silver plated uh, goblet, chrome ultraplated tap, and uh, copper plated mug, gold plated watch, all these processes made through ultraplating, and all these objects uh, coating made through ultraplating process. Next one is electroless plating. So it is a technique uh, for depositing a noble metal on the base metal by using a suitable reducing agent uh, without using electrical energy. In this uh, process, in the previous uh, process, we have used electro, uh, the electricity battery charge, but in this case, uh, no need of electrical energy. The principle is the reducing agent reduces the coating metal which gets deposited on base metal. The coating metal ions plus reducing agent gives the coating metal plus oxidized products. So, electroless uh, nickel plating in step 1 pre treatment and uh, activation of surface of base metal. The surface of base metal is treated with organic solvents to remove oil, grease, then with acids. The steel is treated with uh, or diluted H2SO4. The step two bath composition. The coating solution of uh, nickel chloride NaCl2, reducing agent is sodium hypophosphate, complexing agent is sodium uh, succinate, and the buffer uh, solution is sodium uh, estate. The pH value is 4.5 and temperature is 93 degrees centigrade. So, before using the solution, you should uh, concentrate, you should see the uh, all these uh, parameters. Next, ultraless plating uh, of nickel process shown in this uh, diagram. Here, uh, the component to be coated that is uh, not, and ultralight is a soluble salt of coating metal nickel NiCl2 chloride. The metal ions plus reducing agent 
gives metal plus oxidizing product. So here yeah, are not using um, any electricity. So that is the main difference between this electro plating and then uh, electro less plating of nickel. Step 3 is process the following reactions takes place when the base metal is dipping in the plating uh, bath. That is due to the reaction, the coating metal will be applied. So, at anode equation shown and at cathode, this method is used to coat jewelry, perfume bottles, etc. And uh, nickel coated uh, polymers are used in decorative works, uh, mainly um, the major applications in uh, decorative uh, works. So, these are the uh, references I have taken. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.